Food is one of Ireland's most important exports, and the UK is the biggest market for Irish food. Previously in Home Chef, I met some of the best food producers in the country. In these programs, I'm finding out where some of the food we produce is sold. This is German Street in London's West End, home to many famous and upmarket shops, including Paxton and Whitfield, a cheesemonger since 1797. I've come here to meet a cheesemaker from Tipperary called Breda Marr. Would it be fair to call you London's ambassador for Irish farmhouse cheese? Awfully posh, Nevin. Thank you very much. Um, maybe to a certain extent, but what I do is um, I partner with Paxton and Whitfield to get a market for Irish farmhouse cheese and liaise with the cheesemakers back in Ireland. And together we've got a lovely new project going to build the market for speciality Irish farmhouse cheese here. All this new project came about after Marketplace in Dublin. They showed that Ford B actually initiated. And we met Ross and they were looking for um, a weekly delivery into, into London to have fresh cheese all of the time. And I think they're quite happy. It's up and running now for the last four or five months. They are getting their weekly or two weekly delivery of Irish farmhouse cheeses. They're getting at the age profile that they require and now we've moved on to developing the market with them into the wholesale business to grow that market for them. What does the age profile mean, cheese? Every customer requires their cheese at different ages. Okay. Uh, someone like Patterson and Whitfield will be requiring something not quite mature but fully mature because they have two requirements. They have their retail shop where they want to mature it and sell it at peak condition to the customer. They have a wholesale business where they like to have something perhaps three quarters way to maturity. You have other customers who want a very young cheese, very mild, so every customer is different. Yes. So we can give packs and Whitfield exactly what they're looking for. That's very interesting. So they're very particular on what they're buying and how mature it is. We just must give the market what the market needs mm -hmm. and by getting it weekly or fortnightly, they can do that straight from the farm. They order from us on a Friday, it's here the following Friday. So it just works perfect. That's great. It's been a great success. How many shops have they got? They've got three shops. Three shops. One in Bath, one in Stratham, and one here in London. And would a very large wholesale business. Oh, would this be one of their busiest shops here? Yes. You can see yes. the people coming and going. Fabulous shop. Absolutely fabulous. Real old, long established shop. Probably the oldest cheese shop here? in London. Wow. Yeah. And how many varieties do you have here in the shop for Irish cheeses? Well, basically the whole range is open to Pax and Whitfield. They would have a minimum of seven to eight cheeses at any one time and up to 10 and 11 sometimes of the year. So what are the varieties here? We've got the washed wine cheeses from West Cork. The Darris is a aromic cheese, uh, Gabine, Ardrahan. Then we've got the wonderful organic cheese from Mossfields in Mossfield. County Offaly. Yes. We've got the Cashew Blue, Crozier Blue, Coulet and the Coulini your own cheese which is delicious and I'm going to be cooking with that later on. You're up against lots of competition here as you can see the wonderful cheeses in England. What makes our Irish cheeses so distinctive? Yes, huge competition, hundreds of cheeses and that is a difficult thing for us to try and sell cheeses but what makes the Irish cheeses different is they're all coming from small family farms. Normally one cheese to the farm which is different to the English which are coming from much bigger establishments, factories. Also in Ireland you've got so much different um, areas where you got the mountains, you got the Golden Vale, and they're all producing different grass. Okay. So all of these things, with the cheesemaker's skill and passion for cheese making, it's what's making these cheeses so different, so special, and That's so unique. As you know yourself from cooking, it's the raw material that's the most important thing. And with cheese, it's the milk and the flavoursome of the milk. So milk produced, you know, on the slopes from herbs perhaps for the goats or even for the cows, yeah. it would be totally different to what you get in the Golden Vale where you've got lush green grasses. Every area in Ireland is actually producing a different style of grass and that is reflecting in the milk that's making the cheese. So there's a great story there, you know, the full traceability and you produce your own milk. That has to be a fantastic selling point for here. Absolutely, absolutely. And some great characters behind the yeah, cheeses, true. which I think very much reflect in the cheeses themselves. And you've got a great selection of raw milk cheeses, which are hugely popular at the moment. They've got huge taste, huge flavour. Everything is captured in the cheese, nothing destroyed by pasteurization, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so it's, it's a great story, it's wonderful, long may it live. Coming up in part two, a pizza tart and a delicious vanilla creme brulee with apple compote.